Hello! Kumusta? Maligayang pagbabalik sa aking channel. Today, I have a brand new list of videos that prove to the world that Filipino crowds are the best crowds at concerts. And I don't usually make shoutouts or do shoutouts uh, on this channel. But today I have to, I have to give a big shout out to Jess. Because Jess, when this person contacted me on Instagram, they came in with a plan, man. They basically did the work for me. You know, that work of research and answering people and checking suggestion and making lists. They basically did that for me because they contacted me and they just said, hey, I have this, 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 this video that showcases how great Filipinos can be at concerts, you know? And I was like, you know what? Because you made it so simple for me, I will react to this list and make a video out of it. So, we got Filipino crowds apparently at a One Republic concert. So, they will have Think, Sing, Apologize and Halo. But Halo is not a One Republic song, is it? Isn't that like a Beyonce song? I think so. We got uh, Filipino crowds at an Ed Sheeran concert and also at a Maroon 5 concert. So there we go. Before we start, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Music Game News because that is where you can DM me your suggestions. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. The noise, harmonize to one republic's apologize. Hi voices. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> it's insane. They are on pitch. Did you hear it? They were following the uh, bass to perfection. Yup, yup, indeed. By far, he okay. said. Let's no contest. Whatever, whatever note you picked, keep that note, please. Okay, here we go. Too late, too late, too late. Those are three notes. Here we go. It's perfect. Unbelievable. Wow. The chills that you must feel, whether you're part of the crowd, the Filipino crowd, or, you know, one of the uh, artists or band members, to hear a huge crowd like this sing your song to perfection, I can only imagine the feels, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That's very impressive. I wish we could have heard... Uh, you know, the, the crowd sing the entire song. That's insane. All right, let's move on. Apparently, to One Republic sing Halo with the crowd. Okay, so this video is uh, put vertically. It's a little weird. I will try to... Uh, make it right for you guys, all right? Oh, 
also the audio is very distorted. Wow. <laughs> Let's see if they can do this. Oh. <laughs> and this is completely normal. You know, for someone like me who's been, you know, reacting to Filipino music and Filipino artists and random Filipinos, now this has become normal to me to be honest with you guys. But years ago, if I had seen this video, I would have been just flabbergasted. But because Filipinos, every Filipino almost has a karaoke machine in their house and they, you know, use it every time there's a gathering and they practice and they sing. So of course the majority of Filipinos can do this, you know, they can for sure follow uh, the artist. This must be one of the reasons why uh, the Philippines is one of the favorite destinations of artists, you know, around the world. Because of the, uh, the crowd, how interactive they can be with the artists, and because of the fact that they can be in tune and because they can sing. Next, uh, we got uh, Maroon 5, Payphone. <laughs> the dude was about to finish the song right to continue but they didn't let him when when the the crowd is so good that the artist has to stop singing to hear the crowd the crowd sing his song this is crazy it's overwhelming He does not need to sing. <laughs> Seriously, I wish he would stop singing and let them finish this song. That would have been more interesting, I think. They're a huge, huge uh, band, even though it's mainly the main singer that really... When you hear Maroon 5, you see his face, right? What's his name again? Uh, Levine, something Levine, right? Uh, Avri something Levine? I'm not I was going to say Avril, Avril Levine, but no. It's something Levine, though, I think. Um, yeah, man, they, they, they were super popular at one point. All right, Maroon 5 again. <laughs> Woo! Wow. That's insane. Uh, so this video also is in vertical. I'm gonna put it back in horizontal. That's insane. Did you hear that? Okay, now we move on to Ed Sheeran.
<laughs> when the crowd can finish the song for you, man. Wow, chills, bro. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's someone that's close to the person that's filming this video that's off key for sure. <laughs> it's basically as if Ed Sheeran had backup vocalists that he didn't even have to pay for. Actually, they paid him to see him and they're singing for him. That's the best deal ever, right? Wow. Unbelievable. They were literally the back the backup vocalists of all of these singers of Maroon 5, of Ed Sheeran, and who was the other one again? And one Republic. Incredible. So how should I even call this video? When Filipino crowds decide to become the backup vocalists? at a concert when Filipino crowds um, you know don't let the artist sing at his own concert I don't know but seriously they are capable of actually um, taking the spotlight that's how uh, in tune Filipinos are the Filipino crowd is at a concert when they know the song obviously it's insane so yeah i'm not sure which title i'm gonna go with but it'll probably be one of those <laughs> crazy so again thank you jess for this awesome suggestion um, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this uh, compilation and also were you uh, part of these uh, concerts of one of these concerts and could you describe the feeling, you know, when the Filipino crowd just start chanting like this? Because it feels like a chant, you know. Uh, maraming maraming salamat po. And uh, of course, if you found value in this video, then please do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here. Because this is not the first time that I actually reacted to Filipino crowd. So yeah, check them out right here.